Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to be a really big file. <laughs> ah, yes. Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a live commentary. Uh, partially because I want to try it. Uh, it's an experience for me, for you, for everybody. And uh, partially because this video isn't terribly important. So if I screw up in any way, it's not that big of a deal. Now I'm using the uh, term live commentary pretty loosely here since uh, as you can tell from my loadout and uh, my map choice uh, it's not particularly serious um, but hopefully I'm just kind of testing out the uh, technical aspects of it to see if this is a, a feasible option for future videos and perhaps it may be although I'm getting a lot of lag right now oh goodness gracious Recently, I've just been working on sticky jumps because I find them very hilarious. So that's the uh, reason behind this loadout. Die! 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 die. No. No. Wait, which one did I hit? Was it you? Maybe? Ah. Oh. Cool. Uh, so anyways, uh... I'm making this video as an update because, uh, if you've noticed, I've been fairly inactive recently besides the, uh, joke videos. Uh, I've been meaning to make, uh, videos, uh, both what I've been doing before, which is the commentaries, and, uh, the, uh, spy issue stuff, which I really need to update, I really do. Um, and that was cool, I didn't take any damage, uh, uh but I, I don't want to half-ass it, and, uh, recently I've been kind of swamped by school and midterms and whatnot, uh, hopefully my productivity will increase a lot during summer, which is in, a oh, month and a half or so, and then I can get back into the flow of things with that, because I should have a lot more not free time exactly, because I always have free time, but, uh, I have more motivation and more, uh, basically I won't have to worry about school as much. Uh, another thing that's going to be taking my attention away is Diablo 3 coming out in under two weeks now. Uh, and if I know myself, I'm going to be playing that pretty much non-stop for a while. Uh, so that's probably going to affect, uh, video production as well. That was kind of cool. Ooh. Hey. Hey. You don't- No. 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 Eight- No. Oh god, I hate damage spread and crits. Ah, bait of my existence. Especially as a spy. Uh, so that's basically it for the, um, the, uh, whoa. Did anybody else see that, sir? That was kind of cool. Uh, but anyways, that's, that was pretty much it for the, um, bad stuff I had. Not bad, but, uh, you know, delayed videos, explanation, etc. Uh, I'd also like to talk about what I have planned for upcoming stuff and what's going on my plate. Um, somebody's up on middle, and I'm just sitting here jumping around. I'm distracted. Uh, uh, ah, so close. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that too. Hilarious. Uh, so basically, I uh, joined a Highlander team, uh, Rooks and Kings. I've played two swarms with them, and, uh, it's really fun, actually. It's it's fun playing at that level. It's fun playing Highlander. Uh, I'm obviously a total noob at it, but hopefully that'll change, and, uh, I will actually be credit to team. Uh, but it is, just the game type is awesomely fun. Highlander, uh, almost to the point where I'm probably not going to be making commentaries anymore unless it's a, uh, 
Highlander style format just it's uh, it's honestly a whole different game and it's uh, very very fun uh, it, yeah I mean teamwork like honestly it feels as though that's how the game should have been played for the most part uh, I really don't like sixes uh, I, I don't not like sixes I just don't think they should have been the standard competitive format um, I understand there's a few issues with like with professional gaming uh, and that was kind of a cool boost but uh, yeah. and it's easier with six but I mean Highlander is just such a great format uh, so probably from now on commentaries will only be in that format unless it's uh, an incredibly good game play against uh, relevant people which is unlikely in pubs as you can tell by this uh, you know, it, I'm not saying these people are bad or anything, but they're not a competitive team, and I'm not playing in a competitive way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, Highlander format, look for that. Also, I've been thinking about doing frag videos. I know there's a stigma against them, and nobody really likes them. I wonder if that guy's a spy. We should go check. My guess is no. We'll just slash them anyways. Um, yeah, so there's a stigma against frag videos, and I can understand that. Uh, but if, honestly, they're really fun to make. Uh, because I'm not sure. Well, I mean, for me, they're fun to watch. Uh, I really like them because I can go back and look at things that I've done that were particularly impressive without seeing all the times I've messed up, which is... Uh, <laughs> uh, Pretty awesome, actually. I shouldn't go down there. He knows what he's doing. Uh, so let me just hop across the map and do nothing. Oh Jesus! I know they're they're not a great comparison or not comparison, but a great representation of skill. Uh, I understand that, and at the same time, you know they're really fun to make. Uh, the reason I like watching them when I do is because they show some sort of unique gameplay or some oh, I'm gonna die um, some sort of unique uh, gameplay or something impressive uh, all strung together so it's it's nice just to see them uh, oh, bit of frame lag just cuz it you know I mean it's fun to watch uh, so I like to make those so we might see some of those Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, the last one I made was fairly successful as far as view count goes, although I'm assuming a lot of that is from Reddit and not from my subscriber base, so, uh, you know, probably skewed numbers. The other thing I wanted to talk about, um, was my spy guide. It's actually almost year anniversary. Uh, starting that at least uh, and I've gotten pretty good reception on it uh, in the past year uh, and, but every time I go back to look at it I almost cringe at how not poorly done it was but how much better I could have made it and so I've been toying with the idea of uh, making a sort of a version 2 uh, it would be, you know, better, uh, it would be better, <laughs> okay, it would hopefully be better, uh, I would be, uh, I'd make them all within the same time frame instead of spanning it over a few weeks so that I can keep a little bit of coherency automatically. Uh, so I'd like to do a lot more planning, because I kind of just went into the last one, just made one and said, okay, let's see what we'll do next. And if you go back and look at the description of the first video, it has um, a proposed plan that I didn't adhere to at all, which is uh, not what I want to do with this one. Uh, I want to go in saying, okay, part one's going to be this, part two's going to be this, part three's going to be this, etc. Uh, the other thing I was going to do um, is basically have the first two uh the idea i'm toying with right now is to have part one be about uh scripts 
Vines, HUD, etc. Basically all the out of game stuff. Uh, part 2 would be more concerned with movement and uh, kind of physical interaction within the world. And then the third one would kind of be a lot more spy specific. Uh, kind of work with concepts and, uh, you know, like, watch your enemies, uh, learn what they do, uh, learn how to counter it, etc. Uh, more conceptual based stuff and then I'd have to think of what to do for any other parts if I even chose to do other parts maybe some sort of uh, concepts in practice thing like very specific um, stuff regarding a lot more complicated not complicated but situational uh, techniques for the spy class that I don't see a lot of people use all the time and would actually be uh, good for a lot of people to know. Um, the thing with me in situational tactics is that the situational tactics are usually what are impressive. Once you get your bread and butter stuff down, like for me, corner stabs aren't terribly impressive, especially against uh, the ca like low caliber players. The stuff that I find impressive is the uh, unorthodox stuff. Hey, rank up. Um, uh, in my all skill video, one of my favorite uh, clips from that was where I surfed a guy's rocket and uh, survived. And you actually didn't see it in that clip, but then I spy capped at the end uh, with a pyro right there, so uh, that was kind of hilarious. I was debating putting that in. Uh, but I decided it wasn't terribly exciting. Uh, but I kind of digress. <laughs> uh, ooh, that was cool. I wish I could do that consistently. No, I just kind of do this air jumping thing consistently, though. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, part four might be uh, the situational stuff. Uh, starting off with the basic stuff, you know, like illusions. Uh, it's not situational, but I mean, hopefully you understand what I'm getting at. Uh, so, you know, basic stuff like illusions and air strafing. Uh, I'm not sure I would concern myself too much with trick stabs because there's already a bunch of lovely guides made. Uh, I've seen a few on spot recently uh, from Slurgy and from other people that I can't name right now because I'm currently concentrating on too many things at once, but uh, I don't think I'm going to cover that stuff because there's already quite a bit of information on it, and that's kind of something that, I mean, uh, that one, uh, you know the concept, it's just kind of putting into practice, and that's something you have to do by yourself. Uh, I would introduce basically just conceptual stuff, you know, like uh, illusions, I've already said that, or uh, surfing rockets and stuff and dropping disguise to uh, not pick up health packs, save them for later, etc. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that, because hopefully it'll be, uh, it'll be basically version 2 of the Spy Guide, just cleaner. It won't sound as scripted, hopefully, and I won't sound so depressed, because, <laughs> uh, Hopefully, as you can tell by my commentaries, I'm not that depressing sounding. Uh, although, I am just kind of quiet, and I don't talk very much, but, uh, you know. Woo! So, I think that's all I had. Uh, doing this live is actually weird for me, because I kind of... I'm not quite sure I remember everything I did. It just seemed to me like it was a bunch of jumping around and I got barely any kills. <laughs> but I guess we'll see in uh, Vegas. Another thing about that is that uh, it actually didn't feel as... As far as the recording is... Okay, I'm gonna die here, but you know, whatever. Um, as far as the recording was concerned... Oh, if I'd hit him one time. It, <laughs> and I keep on getting sidetracked, as you can tell. Uh, as far as the recording is concerned, I don't have to go back into a demo and record it and find the spot, and that's actually very helpful. Uh, one of the biggest freaking problems I have with recording is going back into a demo, finding what I need, making sure that everything is looks right, and then recording. Uh, 
And that can get really annoying. Or, it's not so much annoying as it's just a hassle. Um, I prefer demos because you can see HUD and because it's a lot easier to record than a replay. Uh, replays are very inconsistent, they corrupt all the freaking time. Uh, and I can just have pre-rec record everything for me. Which is awesome. Uh, so we'll see how that goes and how this actually looks and how I sound because I didn't do any testing to see how the sound levels were. <laughs> That's revenge. Uh, so hopefully this turns out okay. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be pretty sad because I'm kind of a perfectionist. But uh, I'll live through it because I put the effort in. And I, I'm not sure I'd want to do this again with all this glorious jumping I've done and slicing and dicing and... Be going down, sniper. Unless you random crit me, in which case I will be very upset. Or the pyro cases. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 You too heavy. Or if my lag doesn't kill me. Oh. Anyways, I hope this video uh, is enjoyable. I hope it's informative. Uh, what I've been doing recently. Uh, I really apologize for the lack of videos. I, I, I do enjoy making them. Uh, it, it's just... It takes a lot of effort. And uh, I'm kind of in a position right now where I'm not giving enough effort in school already as it is. <laughs> Which isn't new for me, but... Uh, it's just... It divides my attention. And... I mean, I just said this. I really like making videos. And I'm going to continue making them. Uh, they're just very inconsistently timed, and I realize that. And I apologize for that, uh, because I, I, I'm pretty sure you enjoy my videos, at least to a certain extent. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and let's see if I can do anything epic right now. No, that was really anticlimactic. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.